Hey, what's up guys? Joe here again, and this time I got some video footage of a real springtail trap. So a couple weeks ago I made a video talking about how you can make, make a springtail trap yourself, just with a mushroom, a piece of paper towel, and a cup. So I went ahead and actually did a demonstration for you guys, and we're going to go over that in this video. So just a really quick recap of the last video in case you guys didn't see it. So essentially what I went over in that video is really briefly how, what springtails are, why you want them, and also how you can build a trap of your own without having to go online and buy a springtail culture. So just really quickly, if you don't know what springtails are, springtails are like these tiny little insects that eat fungus and decaying organic matter. And those are the stuff that you don't want to see in your terrarium. And a lot of terrarium builders will actually put them into their terrarium to kind of help clean it up so you don't run into problems like mold growth or any weird rotting smells. So that's kind of what springtails are for. In the last video, I kind of went over how you can build a springtail trap of your own, but I didn't actually get to do a live demo for you guys. So in this video, I went ahead and built a springtail trap of my own just to show you guys the results of how that works. So let's get to it. All right, so we got our three materials for the springtail trap here. So the first thing we're gonna need is a piece of paper towel. We're gonna go make wet that later on. We're also gonna need a mushroom or some kind of fungus. And we're gonna need a little container. So I'm using a little protein scoop that I have. The container size doesn't have to be too big. You can use something bigger like a cup or something. But if we're just going to start a culture, we just need a few springtails just to get the culture going. We don't have to gather a whole buttload of springtails in our trap right away. So I think this will be good for now. So I'll be right back and wet this paper towel and we'll put it together. All right, so I went ahead and got this paper towel a little wet. So now I'm just going to put it into this cup here. Maybe fold it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. So that moisture is really gonna attract those springtails into our trap here. And last thing we gotta do, put the mushroom in. All right, there we go. So I think that'll be good enough to get some springtails in there. We're gonna go outside, put this in the grass somewhere and uh, see how that work, see how that goes. All right, so I found a nice little secluded spot in my backyard here. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to find kind of a spot like this. It seems pretty moist, um, kind of hidden off in the shade area here. I see a little patch of moss there, so that's kind of a good sign that it's kind of uh, shady and moist. So, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in here. I think as long as the springtails can uh, crawl in, it should be fine. the police in the background but there we go um, that's pretty much all we got to do so hopefully the fungus is gonna attract some springtails we'll come back in a few days and see how that went all right so it's been a couple of days we're gonna go ahead and go check on the springtail trap and see how it's doing all right here we go we're back to the spot where we put our trap here and see how it's doing Looks like it. Looks like we got maybe one springtail in there. I see a spider. Hmm. It looks like we got something. So looks like it worked. We got maybe a few springtails. I think that'll be good enough to um, to get a culture going, um, build up a population in our terrarium. So let's see here. Not really sure what what all those guys are, but I don't know. We'll just throw them into our terrarium and see how that goes. All right, so we're back inside with our terrarium here. Uh, don't mind these yellow traps. I just kind of put these in here to deal with some fungus gnats that I was uh, that kind of infested my terrarium. Um, so we have our springtail trap here with a bunch of kind of like a grab bag of little insects. Maybe we'll give you a closer look here. Not sure if all of those are springtails, but I'm pretty sure at least some of them are. So we're just going to toss them all in here. I'm pretty sure um, 
those insects in there probably not going to harm our tarim. So just throw everything in there and um, see, and I'm hoping what will happen is those springtails will repopulate within the terrarium and um, clean out any mold. And hopefully that'll help with some of the fungus gnats I've been dealing with. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go, go ahead and just toss that, go ahead and toss that in there. Okay, I think that was all of them. Looks like we got all of them. So now they're all in there. Oops, looks like the spider got stuck on, on that yellow, on the yellow sticky trap there. Um, I don't know, maybe he's getting out. Uh, probably should have taken that out first, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll pick up this napkin. I uh, don't really want to leave this guy in there. Let me just shake it off really quick. Okay, it looks like the napkin okay, it looks like I got most of the stuff off the napkin, so I'll just go ahead and take that out. And oh, it looks like the spider got free. Um uh, let's zoom in here. That's where the spider was. And now I think it ran under the rock somewhere. Um, okay. So yep. Yeah. So now it's all added to the terrarium and Hopefully that's gonna help us out here. So with the springtails that I caught, I just went ahead and added them to my terrarium. But if you guys wanted to optimize your springtail culture growth, you would probably wanna get a culture to actually grow your springtails first before adding them to, ter to the terrarium, just to make sure that you have plenty of springtails to sustain itself. Uh, I'm kind of doing a little experiment myself. I just wanna see if a couple of springtails from my trap that I caught is enough to repopulate a terrarium. So we'll see how that goes. But in case you wanted to build your own culture, you would just get a little cup, some charcoal, and sprinkle a few grains of rice in there. Just give them plenty of food and some water. And in a couple of weeks, you'll, you should have a decent population of springtails to add to any terrarium. And also probably a good number left over to build up a new culture. Um, and keep you can keep recycling them that way. But that's it for this video. So just to recap, I built a springtail trap, got a few springtails and also a couple of other insects in there. Went ahead and added them to my terrarium. And that just kind of shows you what a simple trap can do to capture springtails natively in your area without having to do all that much work, but you still get pretty good results. So thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.